Fala galera, beleza? Tô aqui no começo do vídeo só pra avisar vocês que a página da Blake Store no Facebook foi excluída, a principal. Então eles criaram outra página aí pra vocês curtirem. O que, que o dono falou pra mim? Ali, ah, vai lá e pede seus inscritos lindos, maravilhosos. Vai curtir a nova página pra ajudar, que eu sei que você sempre fortalece. Então, primeiro link na descrição, galera, vai estar tá aí a página pra vocês curtirem. Curte lá, qualquer compra que você fizer utilizando o cupom ALEARTES1, eu vou estar tá repostando aqui no canal e no meu Instagram. Então, qualquer compra que você fizer, me marca no Instagram ou me manda, beleza? Tamo junto, galera, vamos pro vídeo e curte lá a página, hein? É nóis! We've seen some magic plays by Coldzera in the past with the Desert Eagle. He is in a position to perforate some heads if they push on A-Main, but elsewhere Ivy is being engaged. This draws his attention elsewhere. Now A-Main is going to push in. They've got so much ground already covered. Here comes Coldzera with the Desert Eagle. He's picked up two, make it three, and he's still somehow alive. Finds it. It's all on cold on the bomb site. We've seen him clutch here before, though. Exactly. Can he do it once again here for MIBR in such a critical round? Will Mouseports even give him that opportunity as they start to filter their way onto the bomb site all together? They're peeking the wrong angles. Coldzera has a chance now. Two have fallen, and it's on to Frozen. He gets the jump done. Coldzera, what is that? He just was always going to hit that one shot. He's only got 20 seconds here, Coldzera. Bomb is not in a good position for him. He knows both of the CTs are close by, but he just... He doesn't have time in this round. He needs to get the bomb down. Smoke will be popped down on the side and he'll plant behind Silo, but Liquid pushing into him. Coldzera, can he do it? Knows that they're pushing him. There's the first Coldzera. Almost has it. He does. What a clutch. And right behind, they needed it. And they got it. Coldzera, the man of... He will be, unless these pistols can upset. It's a fast A play. The smokes are not down, so Fur has a free line of sight. There's one towards jungle, but stairs is open for business. Bell's hiding in the corner, bomb dropped, no one there to trade. Finally, it does come through, and Savage actually gets one through the smoke, so third dead, and Panda just getting aggressive. They could have called for flashbangs, but instead just running through to their death. Cold Tira, dear oh dear, through a smoke, drops the bomb, and Taco's even gonna come in for more. Cold Tira with three, and this fence. There's a real, real action going on in the arena. Pistons. Oh, B-Rush Anders. If they make this work, one flashbang running through the flames as well. Taco must get this kill. He's gonna get the first and the second, but great trades and somehow it's just called Zera. So many angles to look for and he manages it. He spins and sprays and he gets three. 15 to eight now as MIBR claw back in. And Banana willing to take it just to a late round set piece. Only one counter flash, and that's in Fur's hands. He's at the B bomb site, it'll be useless. It might be R just has to straight up win these fights. Get right jumps in. Phelps is gonna finish that off. They know both are in the site, but this is hard. They're being pushed back. Dennis gonna swing out wide. Him and Red's gonna find that kill. Cold Zera hasn't been cleared. Eight seconds left on the clock. Cold Zera's gonna deliver again. It's Forrest who's gotta go in with the ult, but he can't do it. Cold Zera, patient in the site. The A site. Deagle. Already can actually catch Lucky off. He had no idea he was in that far. He was still watching the entrance point. Doesn't want to go get the gun, smartly so. Smokes it off. That would have given him a chance to get there, perhaps, but didn't want the risk of getting sprayed down. And Kenny's already spotted that he's gone toward ruins. He himself, though, tagged to 55. Has to be very careful and aware of the fact that Tonko should be arriving at any point. He has, and he'll plant with eight seconds. He knows there's a gun in the back of the site. He's got the AUG to work with, Cold. Kenny's already spotted him, remember. He's just holding ruins. That means Kenny either has to go aggressive with the AWP and catch off Cold, or work back around and go CT. Cold figures he's still there because Taco's not Cold. He's gone any further, gets the Deagle shot, and Shox might just bail. He might just grab the AWP and work his way out. Not a ton of money on the CT side, and Cold's denying that as well. A spectacular. On NIP, but Cold's error, not budging a muscle, not an inch. Smoke afterwards, but he's gonna be on the right side of the smoke, plus the Molotov. This could really bait Nip into a horrible spot, but he goes out with a pop flash. There's two, the bombs dropped alongside it, and down goes Forest Cold Zera. Ice cold. That's, that's an opening, but Cold Zera finds Get Right. That's important. That's huge. He's got a few on that. He does catch his Lacro, now 3v3. 
problem starting to arise. Deep Molotov Forest is going to go wide. And oh, Coldzera, he's so low. Down to seven, but still kicking. Still fragging. And the bomb yet to commit. That's what's so interesting. They're pulling the CTs into the site. And Coldzera is executing them. Bomb nowhere to be seen. They don't know where Draken is yet. They're so worried about backstab. They have two players over there. And Cold just continues on. It's an ace. Surely it's an ace. Rez the only man standing. Cold's got no help to work with, but that didn't stop him before. Bomb down now. He's got four. He's looking for five. He's going to catch a glimpse of the head as soon as he goes up on that ramp. Rez makes his appearance. All too clear. And Cold Zera. A couple of bullets left in the mag. It doesn't matter. Tidge for FaZe Clan. So maybe things will start to change. In fact, this is a brave play. Rain running distraction, forcing Phelps back into the hands of the bomb carrier, reloading his gun as well. Surely he's done for. Perfect play, very deliberate stuff there from FaZe Clan. Works out very well indeed. And now Cold Zero in a one versus two. He's got an org though. Nico just jumping past, trying to find him. And he's seen him now. There's a trade tracker immediately taken out. Supreme fight with the org as well. Nico's made his way through. And the org will prevail. And Cold Zero will prevail. Very happy with that. And that is MIBR back to winning ways, but... This is the Cloud9 picking up the pace here, not letting that clock run down. They're moving very quickly towards Short A. Rush now taking down Taku, who's trying to get re-aggressive and trying getting a pick for his team. And it's on Cole Zera right now towards this B bomb site. He's close to short to make it happen. Yeah, first got a flashbang. He's gonna try and help out. Okay. There's a flash coming for Cold Zera. It's popped out above into his left, but Cold seems to have done this just fine all by his lonesome. The bomb's been dropped out here as well, and Cold Zera staring it down. Automatic soon to round this corner, but Cajun B is Another point blank one. range. What a fresh smoke that comes in. The support from Fur and the Cold Zera has single-handedly locked down down this site. This is massive here. Cajun B now in this 1v2. Cold Zero, great work in that B bomb site. A phenomenal effort to really cement the round for MIBR here, unless Cajun B can hit some great shots and actually open this up. He's 20 seconds spotted. on the clock. He's been spotted. There's the pop flash. He'll turn away from that one. Cajun B was able to be credited with one. MIBR, not a perfect squad. We know that T sides are lacking um, over the last few months, so we'll see. You. What can be done here to be do three making his way in as Matrix will back him up. Great stuff so far, but still a three versus three. Cold Zera is being absolute beast so far. Using the Orc, great stuff, gets the advantage once again. He wants another. There's the headshot delivered as Glade left in an impossible situation once again. They've barely had any post play. of the position of JW as well. But the crossfire set up for Fnatic does actually get the better of them. Cold Zera, however, all three players fall to his Glock. There you go, Crims. Well, he is apparently a bit of a rock, but uh, a rock against four MIBR players may not be that big of a deal. Absolutely insane. That was such a good setup. Fosks falling back, falling back, falling back. There's too many players, and they will take him down by force. And Phelps will just chill in the Hasman area. This is pretty tough. I like how the Glocks are moving in numbers, but Cole finds them in the back. That's brilliant stuff from him. Shake Zola in the fence. Will be shut down and it was looking all too good. And then that player can try to make a play. So you always have to be cautious of that one. So that that sucks for United. And now this is Felico. So I could, maybe can go into the right IP quickly. This just looks like it'll be cleaned up very swiftly. So the whole point of the right IP is that the camera that gives you vision when you're running around the game. And have a full buy, they'll probably and they lose, they'll probably have to go back onto yet another save. Ooh. Okay. Oh okay. my goodness, Cold Sarah. And he's got the bomb out there in front of him, too. Does he have the shot on Noxie? Jeez. Hits the first and the Stop next as well. Guy. Cold Sarah. And he's still there. No. He's actually allowed Fallen to open. You know, take a little a bit of attention away, maybe flank around in an after plant scenario. It's looking a little bit strange here for them. Setting up for that smoke though at the Elven is really well timed and that's gonna buy a little bit of time now. Fur has to make this one work and he will. That's a massive kill of the retake. Cold Sierra next to take down device and now Magus. He's gonna go down immediately. Ooh. Cold Sierra cleaning it up. Three kills just like that. And they're waiting for that flashbang shot. He makes his move, but only good for one. The stack on the site completely shuts him down. But Cold Sierra. He will continue to find frags here, and it looks like Kenny S will be removed as well. How many kills is this boy going to find? 34. He's going to be very careful in his position. In fact, he's going to fall back, not go for a triple plant, but all goes default. Has just enough time before Stan gets in place. But normally we say double op retakes, a bit of a problem. This time it's actually not so bad because they're there before falling can fall off the bomb, and they have a crossfire set. They've got information, but Cole's got the AK. Finds one already, knows where Stan is, needs to be careful not to overcommit to the peak. Waits for him to get in, and the headshot comes through. <laughs> That's more like it. Zero, 11 HP with a Galil. Surely there is no way 
surely it's not enough to deal with this situation. They'll try to go for the peaks. He finds the first. Where's the trade? Oh, he can't do it. Oh they can't God. do it. Cold Zero stops them again. Allows him to stay alive there, so that's fantastic. As they rotate it back towards the B bomb side, just one player waiting there, and that's Cold Zero. He has the Desert Eagle. Folks are rotating as well. Flashbang and the follow up headshot is absolutely sublime. And it looks like there's a lot of pressure being applied here. Could be another response from MIBR, and indeed it is. Three players survive. They answer back once they get in. This